Sagittarius, this is your weekly message. Number one, or a Kelly. I could be dealing with a Capricorn. This person feels like your sex is everything. Or you feel like this person's sex is everything. And you have earned the bragging rights. You are their number one in the bedroom. You are their number one person. And all they see is you. They don't care about no haters. They don't care about nothing else but you and them. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Thank y'all for vibing with me. Thank y'all for the new subscribers. Thank y'all for all the personal bookings. All y'all, all the information I need is below. Now let's get into this message. Let's grow. Yes. I'm not talking about that too. I can't get over that. I can't get over that to my mama to swap out anything. Like, I'm just getting new stuff. Cause Nothing's wrong with my car. I have my car, but it's just you don't be answering. And I'm not trying to drive on the other side of town to, you know, mm -mm. I know that. I mean, coming from where I'm coming from. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, whenever you're ready, I'll be available around that time. So whenever you're ready, just get me up. Okay, thank you. My apologies, collective. My apologies. Business. Mm -hmm. So, you are reminiscing on this person's sex. You're missing their sex. You're ready to shoot your shot and get some of their sex. Some of their good loving. You manifesting miracles, child. Maybe you feel like this person and you're not going to get back together. But speak positive. Positive thoughts bring positive results only. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So, just like I'm telling you, you create your own reality. Thinking negative is not going to get you anywhere. And somebody's ready to take accountability. Just be patient. Your manifestations are coming. You need to believe in them that they're coming and stop doubting them. Okay. You're getting back with your person. Maybe you've been manifesting this. Maybe you've been waiting on this. But you are getting back with your person. And it came out anyway. This person is ready to take accountability for this connection. Expect a phone call. See? They're ready to forgive and heal this connection. And communicate. They're ready to talk. They're ready to speak up. They're ready to... Right their wrongs. Somebody might wear bracelets on their right hand. 
but expect a call from this person. Y'all might be have a different shade difference. Somebody can have an after five shadow. Somebody can have a light. Um, I mean, a low haircut. Somebody could be fair skinned. Someone could enjoy wearing hats, mainly fedora type hats. Somebody has a scarf on their head. Somebody wears glasses. Somebody could be in the military as well. But you got messages coming from this person fast. Because they're tired of waiting. See? King of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Love train. OJs. They on the love train. They're trying to come towards you. Fast. Because they feel like they missed the opportunity with you. They're crying over spilled milk. They're looking back at things. Looking back at what's not working instead of thinking about what is working. Thinking negatively instead of thinking positively. See? Thinking broken hearted. It's because it this person could have broke your heart because they were slow to commit to you. They wouldn't commit to you. But now this person is ready to balance out these scales. They're ready to bring y'all, bring this relationship into the balance, speak their truth, and come towards you so y'all can work on this con commitment, work on this connection. They're ready to express themselves. They're ready to go towards calmer waters. They're ready to take action. Now, y'all might have a lot of interruptions. You coming through? Uh, I'm already here. Oh. Okay. Are you not here to No. I'm upstairs. I tell uh, him to open up the door. Why not? That's what I say. I'm about to tell him to open up the door. Bye. Soraya! Y'all have a lot of interruptions. Hold on, y'all. You hear me damn calling me? I'm recording. I'm right in the middle of the court. Hold on. Well, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. So sorry. But y'all might have a lot of interruptions. This person or you are in your head about this connection. Keep on doubting. Keep on self-sabotaging. Instead of following their heart. Because they do want to provide for you. They feel like they gave you the short end of the stick. They feel like they was unfair to you. It was unfair with you. And it caused them to have heartbreak or you to be heartbroken because they didn't give you something stable. They need you to have patience. Patience is a virtue. They want to invest with you. They want to work with you. They want to put in the work. Because they're tired of this agony. They're up in their head. They've been betrayed. Wherever they went at, whoever they was with, they betrayed them. So they had to learn a lesson. They could have been dealing with somebody or it could have been a third party situation. But this person is not ready to come out of hiding, to stop being so secretive. I told you. They're having the courage. Somebody from the past. Somebody that wants to provide. You got the king and the queen. Uh, Pentacles. So this person wants to provide. You already got yours. They want to combine y'all together. They want to invest. They want to put in the work. 
Y'all both are abundant in your own right. Again, confirm with manifestation. You are manifesting this person, or they manifesting you. But you are the happiness. They see happiness with you. Could be a Leo. Because you got double Leo out here. When this person is obsessing over this happiness that they see with you. And obsessing over this reconciliation that they want with you. Confirm a reconciliation twice. So y'all definitely are having a reconciliation. For someone who wants to come in and take accountability. They are coming towards you fast because they have had this spiritual awakening. They don't want any more options. They're not letting anything else confuse them. They know what they want. And they are rushing towards you to come and show you love and give you love. Bottom of the deck is recognition. They recognize who you are. They've made the judgment. That's the truth. And they've been watching you. See what letters may be relevant. Somebody could be about to sign a lease. Y'all could be about to move together. Somebody might have to pay a fee or some fees. Something could have happened last night. Something could be happening late at night. I'm hearing a song. Late at night. Kiss me in the morning, late at night. Then we got the unknown by Sade coming on. Sade is a Capricorn, so y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn. Y'all might be finding out somebody is a fool. Somebody could be in Las Vegas or going to Las Vegas. Could have made an ass out they sell. Somebody could have an AOL email. Somebody could be getting an email. We got soul. Somebody could have sold something. And then we got soul. Somebody could be scared of something. Fear. take you out on a date feast or they want to feast on you I don't know let's get y'all music all the interruptions I had lets me know that y'all have been having a lot of interruptions a lot of mishaps with this relationship y'all definitely dealing with a Leo we got a fool's tail. Tory Lanez is a Leo. And we got Cry Me River. Justin Temple is Aquarius. Cancer, Aries, Virgo, Aquarius, Libra. Two and nine, which equals 11. Maybe in the next 11 days, 11 hours, or 11 minutes, you're going to hear from this person. Or by the 11 or next one. Again, my apologies for the interruptions. Thank y'all for rocking with me, though. All the information y'all need is below. I love y'all. Till the weekend message, y'all. Be easy.